when Tesla's new battery was officially unveiled, many people were not shocked by the results. The most pressing question being, what is the lifetime of Tesla's new battery? While we still haven't gotten any updates on the lifetime of Tesla's new battery, Tesla's battery research partner, Jeff Don, has hinted that Tesla's new Roadrunner cell has a staggering lifetime. Not only that, but Don also unveiled the results of his new battery that has a lifetime of at least, that's right, at least 3.25 million miles. In this video, I'm going to go over the results of Jeff Don's laboratory tests of his new batteries and explain why these results will change everything we know about cars forever. Welcome to Kaz Games Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. I'm sure many of you have heard of the new battery breakthroughs that will quote unquote revolutionize the world. For years, we've been told that solid state batteries would dominate the next century, only to be met with no results. These battery research companies always have charts that compare lithium ion batteries to their own chemistry. Yet, if we take a closer look, these charts understate the potential of lithium ion batteries by a large margin. For example, take a look at this chart revealed by QuantumScape, a research firm that is looking to create solid state batteries. The company purposely understated the potential of lithium ion by at least one third. Lithium ion batteries have the potential to reach 400 watt hours per kilogram, but it is stated as 300 watt hours per kilogram on the chart. Charts like these make people skeptical of the innovation of lithium ion batteries, but Jeff Don has shut down these claims down recently with his new findings. When Jeff Don and his team revealed their lab results that hinted at a million mile battery, the internet went crazy. A million mile battery would open up many opportunities for actually making money with your car, such as robo taxis and vehicle degree technology, which I'll soon cover. To put into reference how large of a distance a million miles is, Tesla's current batteries last around 300,000 to 500,000 miles, so a million miles would mean an increase of over 100%. After three years of testing, Don found out that his cells actually had a lifetime of over 2 million miles. More specifically, Don's battery had about 3.5 million kilometers in lifetime, which is equivalent to 2.17 million miles. All of these show no evidence of failure at all after three years and 10,000 cycles. So, you know, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. A well-designed lithium ion cell can, can work like a charm for a very, very long time. Now, believe it or not, more data has shown that Don's battery could last over 3.25 million miles in its worst case scenario. What is the worst case scenario, you may ask? If you have an electric vehicle, what you'll be told is to not allow the batteries to go under or over a certain percentage. For example, they might tell you to avoid letting the battery go below 20% capacity and also avoid letting it go above 80% capacity. This isn't to say that the battery can't go from 0 to 100, but the lifetime would be a lot less if you charge your vehicle from 0 to 100 and then 100 to 0 many times. Going from 0 to 100 and then back to 0 again is the worst case scenario for a battery. The lifetime would be significantly shorter. This is what would be called 100% of discharge, also known as 100% DOD. Don tested his battery over 20,000 cycles with 100% depth of discharge and found out that his battery could last 15,000 cycles and still have roughly 90% of its capacity. If we multiply 15,000 with its estimate of the driving range, 217 miles, then we get 3.25 million miles. Yes, even with the worst case scenario, Don's battery would be able to last 3.25 million miles. Not only that, but what he found out was that when you use around 25% of the battery per day, then the battery could literally last tens of millions of miles. Most of us only use a small portion of the range provided by an EV for everyday commuting. So this is actually a realistic scenario. If you're doing these short range trips, 25% depth of discharge, look at this, there's absolutely no loss. Two and a half years, 15,000 cycles. So well-designed lithium batteries are used in vehicles the lifetime is going to be incredibly long now that we know that don's new battery can last for literally tens of millions of miles we can open our minds to the types of use for this battery and just a spoiler alert this battery is about to change the way you see not just electric vehicles but also cars in general With such a high lifetime, Tesla's new battery has plenty of uses both for making money and also revolutionizing transport. Don separated the uses into four key categories, vehicle-to-grid technology, 
grid energy storage, multi-use batteries, and ideal applications. First, let's start with vehicle to grid technology. Typically, when you think of cars, what usually comes to mind is that cars are depreciating assets. Unless you are buying a collector's car or a small minority of used vehicles, chances are that you're going to lose money when you purchase a car. Tesla is about to change that. With vehicle to grid technology, you'll actually be able to sell energy to utility grids and make money. How this will work is that you'll charge your vehicle at work, and when you come back home, you'll be able to sell that energy. Tesla's autonomous software will then discharge your battery just at the point where you can go back to work. So for a typical routine, you'll wake up and drive to work. Then, assuming your workplace has a charger, you can plug your EV in to have it charge up. When your work ends and you drive back home, you plug your EV into your house charger, and instead of using your house charger charging your EV, it'll actually discharge your EV. While discharging, you're actually selling your energy to utility grids. Energy prices are much higher at this time than it is while you're at work. After all, everyone's charging their EVs, watching TV, and etc. You'll be able to take advantage of this price difference and make money. Tesla's autonomous software will be able to sell just the amount of energy until your battery has enough energy to drive to work. That way, you can drive to work, charge your EV, and repeat this cycle over again. Usually, vehicle degrade doesn't make sense economically because your battery will degrade and eventually die off. With a higher lifetime, you can constantly buy and sell energy and never have to worry about your battery degrading. Jeff Don explains that this is especially ideal with electric school buses. A good example is a school bus. Like you know, in the morning, the school bus is going to go gather up the kids, take them to school, and then it's parked. And it's parked when the sun is shining in the middle of the day. It should be charging at that point. And then when it's in the afternoon, the school bus takes the kids home. And then during the nighttime, it can be discharged into the grid, you know, at the time of day that Lucas was talking about, when everybody's coming home, plugging in their, you know, making dinner, turning on lights, running a TV, all these school buses can be discharging to just the level where they have enough, enough electricity to make the first morning drive again. The next potential use for this battery is grid energy storage. The potential here is absolutely massive. Enormous companies can literally be made out of this potential. Essentially, Don is proposing a grid energy storage plan, where you'll be able to lease out energy storage from utility companies. Tesla currently has a power wall, where you'll be able to store extra energy from solar panels and potentially use it at night. With grid energy storage, you can avoid getting a Tesla power wall and instead use grid energy storage, which will be able to lease out that storage for you to use. From the utility company's perspective, this makes a lot of sense for high lifetime batteries. You'll be able to lease out energy at practically no battery degradation. And once you hit that point where you've made your money back, it's practically free money from there. The data that I showed you earlier showed no sign of degradation over 10,000 cycles. So how long will those cells last? I don't know the answer. You know, and if you're in the grid, grid energy business, a lot of the models today are you sell an energy storage system to an energy provider. You make money one time when you sell this device. But if you take an alternative approach and say, listen, instead of selling this device, I'm gonna lease it. I'm gonna lease it at a fairly low cost. Now with a car that can last for such a long period of time, the battery will definitely outlast the exterior of the car. There's been a lot of criticism of batteries because after all, when the batteries are all used, where are you going to put them? This is an issue that will be solved with Tesla's new battery. Many approach this issue by recycling batteries for other use, but with a longer lifetime, there's no need to do this. Instead, you can purchase one battery and use that battery for multiple vehicles. This will drastically decrease the cost to purchase future EVs and incentivize EV owners to stay electric. Lastly, ideal applications will be changed forever with the use of Tesla's battery. By this statement, I mean electric boats and aircraft. You may think that such technology is many years away, but it's actually already here. In fact, a company named Eco Sightseeing has already announced that they will be using Tesla's batteries to power passenger boats. Using two Tesla Model S battery packs, Eco Sightseeing claims that their boat will actually be able to cruise for 14 hours straight before needing to be recharged. You won't have to smell that disgusting diesel feel or hear the loud sounds that come from the motor. With batteries, you can have a quiet and clean smelling ride while going at fast speeds. In the following clip, Don explains the potential applications of Tesla's new battery for high cycle intensive travel. The ferry that they run between Sweden and Denmark, it's about a half an hour journey, a little bit less. It makes 46 trips per day. 
So that's 46 charge discharge cycles per day. It turns out in three years, there's about 10, there's about a thousand days. So that's 46,000 cycles in three years. So some of these applications, you need incredibly long cycle life lithium ion cells. As Don explained, Tesla's high cycle lithium ion batteries unlock this gigantic opportunity for short distance ferries. This makes a lot of sense for the ferry company. Batteries are much cheaper and quieter than traditional gasoline engines. Overall, it's exciting to see Tesla's development of a multi-million mile battery as it unlocks the vast opportunities to disrupt energy storage and travel. Let me know your thoughts and if there's any other possible disruptions for Tesla's new battery. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.